Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I've taken a few weeks off to recalibrate and just reassess everything I'm doing. I have some very fun, exciting new projects launching very soon, so stay tuned for that. Today's video is going to be a haul. I have some new beauty stuff that I wanna share with you. Some really exciting launches, some new to me brands. So Shades by Shan sent over their new brush set. They just launched brushes and this is a five piece set. You have both face and eye brushes in this set and it's kind of like your start to finish makeup set. Also, I now have a code with Shades by Shan if you wanna pick anything up, support small business, Latina owned business, female owned business. My code is Chelsea10 for 10% off. I pretty much used all of these brushes on my face today. First up, you have the blush brush, which I actually use for contour. I use the Shades by Shan contour palette. We have the highlight brush, which is like the perfect size for hitting the high points of your face, the bridge of your nose, and so on. And three eye brushes. We have a crease brush. This is the lid brush, so you can use this obviously for your lid colors, pressing on glitters, or just like matte shadows, wherever you need. Then there's the brow and liner brush. I use this with my Arches and Halos pomade today to do my brows. You have a slanted tip brush on one end, and then a spoolie on the other. These brushes are actually really pretty. I love the tapered shape of the handle, the ombre color. So, so far so good with the brushes. I'm gonna keep testing them out. Shades by Shan also did a partnership with Ipsy this past month, and they had these new eyeshadow duos in the Ipsy glam bags. I love the Shades by Shan eyeshadow formula. Um, that's actually the shadow I'm wearing on my eyes today for this like fun cut crease. This is the duo in Pinot and Taffy. Gotta love that wine theme name. Then we have Shortcake Honey, which is a classic kind of bronzy shimmer with a classic creamy matte shade. Aside from lips, I'm pretty much wearing entirely shades by Shan on my face. Blush, bronzer, highlight, eyeshadow, and the brushes. Next up, I have some nail kits from Static Nails. You guys might not know, but I am a longtime fan of this brand. Back in 2017 was the first time I tried this brand. They had a booth at IMATS LA, and at the time, I think they were carried in Urban Outfitter stores. You can get them sometimes on the Nordstrom website and then a couple other retailers online, but of course the Static Nails website itself has the best selection. And they really are the nicest quality press-ons I've tried. They don't even call them press-ons, they call them pop-on manicures. The nails are much thicker quality than the ones you get at the drugstore, say from Kiss or Impress. The first pair is not in the box because I've already worn them. This is the set in Fawn Almond and I'll insert a picture here of me wearing the nails. You could definitely file these down, but I would say out of the box, they're borderline too long for me. So I do have to file them quite a bit to get my perfect fit. They're just very on trend with the shapes and colors they go for. Also the finishes, you can get glossy gel-like finish. You can also get matte finish like this set right here. This is the Thorns and Roses Almond. Gorgeous matte oxblood color. If you like something a little more nude, we have the matte rose almond here. This is totally wild and out of my comfort zone for me, but this is a cheetah French manicure almond shaped nail, and I cannot wait to wear these. Definitely will share more on Instagram once I style these, but I think these are a lot of fun. I've taken a few weeks off nail products just to rebuild and strengthen up my nails again, just using my OPI Nail Envy. Just giving them a little more time to recuperate before I go back to my press-ons and my at-home gel manis. Next up, I received some deodorant samples from a brand out of San Diego called Hume. This is a really interesting brand because they kind of tick all the boxes for me when it comes to natural deodorant. They are, first of all, aluminum-free. Second of all, they have a fragrance-free option. Third of all, they have a baking soda-free formula. And if you know anything about natural deodorants and the pit rash that some of us get, usually that pit rash can be caused by baking soda and a sensitivity to baking soda on that like tender, sensitive area. For that reason, I was really excited and it has some really interesting ingredients in it. It has aloe, prickly pear, some fermented ingredients in it as well. It's also paraben-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, phthalate-free. So I have the Desert Bloom scent, which I'm wearing today, and then the fragrance-free. It kind of looks like one of those crystal salt rock kind of deodorants, but it has the slip of like a coconut oily deodorant too, which is really nice. It doesn't skip or drag on your skin. I think so far I like the prickly pear better than the fragrance free. And I feel like this one works a little bit better. Like I feel like this one, I have to reapply it more often. Whereas this one, I can go pretty much a full day. Really interesting to see a natural deodorant brand kind of ticking all those boxes especially for people like me who have sensitive skin. Usually natural deodorants are thick and pasty and they kind of stain your clothes or cake up your clothes on the inside. This one 
it's really invisible to the touch. So looking forward to testing this out some more. This brand is carried, of course, on their website, but they are also launching in some natural grocery stores. I know here in the Bay Area, they're in Molly Stones. Definitely put this one on your radar if you're looking for a clean, toxic-free deodorant. Uh, last but certainly not least, I got a package from Pacifica. It's been a very long time since I've tried anything new from Pacifica. They sent over a mascara to celebrate National Lash Day, which I believe was yesterday. Pacifica is vegan and cruelty free. So you can find this mascara at Ulta or Target. This is supposed to be a tubing mascara. That kind of is the total package. Gives a curl, volume, length, and separation. Let's take a look at the brush. It's got a big, fat, chunky brush. I think I'll like this. I'm a bit skeptical of mascaras that say they're gonna be all those things. I always look for volume. That's like my number one factor. So this will be the next mascara I try. I think this is one of their best sellers. I don't think it's a new product. So the Stellar Gaze Mascara. So definitely stay tuned for a future video to see how I get on with that. All right, friends, there you have it. Those are all the things that I've recently got in that I'm gonna be testing out. If you wanna see any specific reviews, let me know. Trying to get back on my two videos a week schedule, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any future uploads. So thank you again for watching. All the products will be linked down below and I will see you very soon in the next one.